Hello, my name is Ryan Shaw and I work with the Frontier Extension District. Today I'd like to talk to you guys about forcing uh, bulbs to bloom. So I've bought some paper whites. They're a form of daffodil that do not require any uh, chilling to uh, bloom. So it makes a, a perfect plant to force to bloom. So what will we need? We'll need some uh, paper whites or other daffodil bulbs. I got these on Amazon. You might be able to find them uh, through any of our local uh, nurseries, but you know, I ordered those online. And then just some glass containers. I like clear containers. This way I can see how much water I've got in them once we get to that uh, watering stage. And then uh, I've got like washed marbles or rocks or something like that. Just pick these up there at Walmart and uh, th that will just hold the bulbs in place. The last thing, uh, we'll talk more about this later, is going to be some alcohol. So this is just 70% rubbing alcohol, but we'll talk about what we'll uh, use that for here in just a minute. So these containers uh, are about three to four inches in depth, and then the, the rocks or the marbles are going to be about an, oh, two to two and a half inches thick, probably. So, what we're going to do next is just going to take a few of these bulbs and place them within the, the rocks or the marbles in here. And what I'm just doing here is just making sure that I'm pushing down enough within those rocks that they're going to be held uh, pretty firmly in place. And I've got 10 bulbs, so with two containers, it's going to make that about five bulbs uh, per container is all I'm going to do. Some of these just going to push around a little bit more to make sure that they're staying put. We need to talk about why would we grow these now. These are just to give you a little hint of spring while in the depths of the winter. And we can put these into a nice sunny window, uh, you know, some place that's going to be in between 60 and 65 degrees is going to be ideal. If we get too much warmer than that, we'll tend to have uh, too much growth or they'll get too leggy and then those uh, plants will fall over. Uh, we're going to talk about a way to maybe keep these a little bit shorter and compact uh, here in just a minute. But when we go to water these, we want the water to get up to the base of the bulb. So uh, that's one of the reasons I really like these clear containers or these glass containers. I can see exactly how much water is there. And then we need to know kind of how long should it take for these plants to go ahead and bloom. And anywhere from four to eight weeks, but I'm going to say more of that six to eight weeks is really where I'm shooting for. What can we do to keep these plants a little bit shorter? So, and I didn't just pull this off the internet uh, from some unnamed source. I actually went to uh, Cordell University's uh, research program and they have been using a four to six percent alcohol solution. So just 70 percent rubbing alcohol is what I've got today. Um, we'll mix that up and what I'm going to do is just kind of have a side-by-side -side comparison for you guys. One I'm going to use just water, the other one's going to be using this alcohol solution, and we'll have them underneath the grow light. So we'll have the same growing conditions, uh, everything's gonna be the same except for the water. And that solution, I, they can't explain exactly what's going on, but I, they tend to believe that uh, it's going through like drought-like symptoms, and so they're keeping themselves shorter um, just makes it a little bit more difficult for them to uh, take up that water so they don't get quite as leggy. And it doesn't affect the bloom, so everything else should look just the same. It's just going to be the height of the plants themselves. So why use rubbing alcohol? Can't we just use a whiskey or a bourbon or something like that? And the answer would be no. If we use those, what happens is the sugars will affect the plant and could tie different uh, nutrients up or different things. So just using a rubbing alcohol is going to be uh, what I would recommend. With 70% uh, rubbing alcohol, we're going to want to have like 10 to 11 parts of water to one part of rubbing alcohol. 
And there's two different ways of doing this when we, because you're gonna have to do this every time. So every time we make we go to water these plants, we're gonna have to put in that uh, solution. So one, you can make up a big container of this, and every time the plants uh, need water, you can just use that solution to keep adding to this until that water's hitting the bottom of the bulb again. Or what I'd probably recommend and what I'm going to do, uh, especially doing this as a kind of a research little trial for you all, I'm going to dump the water out of these every time and fill up with brand new water. That way the alcohol in them is always going to be to that, uh, that four to six percent solution. So I hope that you guys will continue to follow along. We're going to have some updates every couple of weeks, uh, just showing the different heights. And then when both of them are blooming, uh, hopefully we'll uh, get another video done and we can show you the, the drastic heights here side by side. And we'll talk about uh, the challenges maybe that I faced and, and whatnot. So if you have any questions, please give us a call. The Frontier Extension District, uh, the phone number for the Garnett office is 785-448-6826, or you can send me an email at reshaub, S-C-H-A-U-B, at ksu.edu. Thank you.